Hey, what's up? Just leaving the gym again, you know, the local Planet Fitness, of course. And uh, I got here. It was overcast, partly sunny, and then been in there. It was leg day, so we do leg and core on the same day. Then we have a push, arms push day, and an arms pull day. Me and my friend. And so today was leg day, and those are a lot longer than the other days. So we finished that. That took a while. It was probably like a little over two hours. And while we were in there, just the clouds came over, started raining, as you can see on the, win the window. What did we listen to today? We had some more Jordan Peterson. And then just listened to a bunch of different Hamza videos. Which some of his videos get pretty dark actually. But like talking about how most men are these days. And just what the world looks like right now. 90% of men are like, yeah, I don't know. It's... It's dark and it's sad. And that's why I think we need more people like that. Like, as a group, we need more groups of men, more tribes. And that's one thing that's hard because I'm a really introverted person. I don't know if you can tell by just listening to me talk. But I don't talk to people very often. That's why I think I kind of enjoy these little videos even though there's not too many people that watch them like the first video got I was surprised with how many people came and watched that one there was like 16 views on that video and then the one yesterday it had like seven views which I'm okay with I'm doing this mostly just for me and just to get better on camera and feeling more comfortable talking just in general and with my words like I don't know if you if you watch the first video and you're watching this one Thank you. I appreciate you. And um, well, you can probably tell I was stumbling over my words on the first video. I still am a little bit right now, but I'm starting to get better, I feel like. And I mean, the more you practice, the better you get at something. I'm also talking right now while I'm driving, which is a good distraction. So I'm not, well, not a good distraction. But I'm not completely focused on it, which I should be. I'd probably get better if I was completely focused on it. Because focus is important. But anyways, I was going to say is I think this is this is almost dangerous. To give me someone, give me an audience to talk to because I'm not used to this. Usually people don't listen to me talk. So even if I'm, and I watch these videos back when I go and edit them. Well, not really edit them, but I just go make sure the different cuts in them like yesterday I got a phone call in the middle of it so I had to put that together put the clips together but I go back and watch these just to see and see how I'm talking and what I can improve on a little bit and I don't have an audience usually so it's really weird when I do talk oh there's a deer when I do talk to someone they I don't have their full attention because I'm not I haven't, I'm not very experienced in talking to people, so I don't know how to keep people's attention. So, and I don't really do it on video because you're not going anywhere. Like, I mean, you could click off the video, but when I talk to most people, their attention span is so short. I talk so fast when I talk to most people to get my point across. And especially when there's other people around, I hate it when people are listening over my conversations because they always got to butt in and say something about whatever I said so I talk somewhat quiet usually and really fast and then people don't understand me and then they don't hear what I say they say what so I have to repeat myself and then I'm not gonna lie I get kind of angry when people do that and then yeah it just repeats from there and then I have to talk louder and then the person that third party is listening even more because then I'm angry and then it just all downhill from there so this is almost therapeutic for me just to talk to a camera and look back at myself talking and because like normally normal people 
that don't see themselves on recording. You never see what you look like when you're talking to people and stuff. And I mean, they say, oh, you shouldn't be so self-conscious. You shouldn't care what people think. But obviously, that's a big part of life because every day you're dealing with people. If you don't care what people think, then it's like you don't care about other people in a sense. Because you should have a sense of pride being who you are. You should want to be a better person. Like That's one thing, too, that I'm trying to fix is the people that I surround myself with are most, for the most part, they're very content with where they are. And they're not trying to better themselves in most ways. Like, some ways, and everyone is trying to get better at something, I think, but there's some things that are more important than other things. And so the people that I'm trying to disassociate myself with are not trying to, they're not trying to improve themselves in the things that make that would make their life better, that are beneficial and crucial to having a better life. Because, like, the better person you become, the better your life becomes. And then the better your life becomes, the better the lives of the people around you become. And, oh, yeah, I mowed the lawn today while it was sunny out this morning. And I was listening to a roundtable, a Jordan, I think it's Jordan Welch roundtable, he had a bunch of like millionaires, multi-millionaire, young entrepreneur guys, like sales, a salesman and a, um, a guy that trades watches and cars and uh, drop shippers. I mean, like e-commerce people. And they're all, they're all saying that you have to provide value to people for people to provide value to you. So the better you become, the more value you can provide to people. And then eventually it'll come around full circle and the more value they'll provide to you. So they were talking about like, if you want to approach someone, some high value person, and they're not gonna respect you, They think it's disrespectful if you just come up to them and ask for advice about something ask them for something for you right and so the best way to approach someone is like someone who's on a higher level level than you to identify a point of weakness for them so like if they need help doing something like one example was there was a guy on there who was mentored by another guy on the stream and he went up to him and this the mentor guy was really good at e-commerce and the guy that wanted to be mentored by him was decent at social media, like personal branding. So the the younger guy, the one that wanted to, meet, to be mentored by the older guy, he saw that he was struggling with personal branding and social media and stuff. So he became really good at it. And then he reached out to the guy like it took him a long a lot of tries you have to be persistent he said and reach out to him offer him offer to help him and set up the steps for him you want to set up the steps provide the solution and say i'll be in charge of this this is what you're going to do and it's going to help you and that's how he formed the relationship with this guy and he's not only mentored by him but they're really good friends apparently and yeah so i thought that was really interesting and if that that's a tip for you tip of the day right there so uh keep that in your mind keep learning keep growing and i'll see you in the next one